एज्यूम करो कि आप कोई आपके पास इवेंट बी है और इस इवेंट बी का प्रोबेबिलिटी गिवन है सो वी हैव इवेंट बी एंड हैज सर्टन प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ अक्रेंस देन अब जो है आपको ये बोल दिया गया कि कोई इवेंट ए अकर हुआ है ठीक है कोई इवेंट ए अकर हुआ है एंड ऑल्सो आपको ये इन्फो ये बोल दिया गया है कि जो ये अंडर दिस न्यू नॉलेज और अंडर दिस न्यू एविडेंस और अकरेंस ऑफ दिस ए डज नॉट अफेक्ट आवर बिलीफ ऑफ बी राइट अंडर दिस इंफॉर्मेशन अगर मैं पूछूं कि वट विल बी द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ दिस इवेंट बी राइट सो सबसे पहले देखो कि आपको देर इज इवेंट बी और उसका कुछ सर्टेन प्रोबिलिटी है अकरेंस का अब जो है एक न्यू एविडेंस दिया गया है एक न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन दिया गया है और आपको बोल दिया गया है कि मे बी दिस इवेंट ए हैज अकर्ड और एडिशनली ये भी चीज इंफॉर्मेशन है कि ए जो अकर हो रहा है और जो ये न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन आ रहा है और जो ये न्यू एविडेंस आ रहा है अंडर दिस एविडेंस इट डज नॉट अफेक्ट ऑन दिस इवेंट बी इट डज नॉट अफेक्ट आवर बिलीव ऑफ अकरेंस ऑफ दिस बी देन अगर ये न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन कोई भी चीज अफेक्ट नहीं कर रहा है ऑन द बिलीफ ऑन आवर बिलीफ ऑफ दिस इवेंट बी तो हमारा जो बिलीफ इनिशियल बिलीफ था अबाउट दिस इवेंट बी वो एज इट इज रह जाएगा राइट right? Now, if you see, this is a conditional probability, right? So, conditional probability is remain same as the unconditional probability. जो हमारा initial belief था under this new information, our initial belief is now same. We do not have, we do not had made any kind of revision based on this given evidence, right? So, the occurrence of this A provides no new information about B. In such case, we may say that event B is independent of this event A, right? So, this is what the intuitive definition of the independence of the two event. From the multiplication rule, we can write the probability of happening two event let's suppose karo we have this event a and b and what's the probability of this event a and b so from the multiplication rule we know agar hum a ko jo hai first event consider kare agar ye event a ho chuka hai then under this new evidence what will be the probability of this event b so this is what we have seen in the multiplication rule that what will be the probability of happening this event a and b that is equal to the probability of this first event into this conditional probability now let's suppose ki abhi jo hum logon ne jo bhi conditions ke bare mein baat kiya conditions ye ki a happening of one event does not change our belief on happening of other event if this is the case and if this is the condition then we can write the happening of this event a and b is equal to agar event a ko hum first event consider kare agar ye a ho chuka hai then what will be the probability of this event b aur hum log ye also we are considering this additional condition right ki एक इवेंट के अकर होने से या एक इन्फॉर्मेशन या एक एविडेंस अगर मेरे पास है दैट डजेंट चेंज आवर बिलीव दैट मीन्स कि दिस कंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी विल बी रिमेन एज द अनकंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी सो हमारा जो इनिशियल बिलीव था दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू अफेक्ट ड्यू टू दिस न्यू इन्फॉर्मेशन और ड्यू टू दिस गिवन एविडेंस एंड दिस इज वट 
so if under this new condition uh, if we have been asked that what will be the probability of occurrence of two event that is equal to the multiplication of the probability of this individual event right so we can find the probability of both event happening by just multiplying their individual probability and this is you can say the general definition for the independence of two event so how it is more how it is general definition that we will see so and even we use this definition rather than this uh, intuitive definition and this formal definition has several advantages over this intuitive definition first of all agar aap dekho ki ye jo definition hai is consistent with this our intuitive definition right so let me first of all write this is our formal definition so so what i'm saying that this definition is consistent with this original definition dekho jaise ki agar aap yahan se probability of b find karo from this formal definition so that is equals to probability of a intersection b divided by probability of a right and from here also we can write probability of b is equals to this conditional probability right so probability of b intersection a divided by probability of a so both these probability are the same so we can say that this formal definition is consistent with this intuitive definition and second point is that this formal definition is uh symmetric with respect to role of a and b so in yahan pe agar aap dekho to yahan pe hum log kya bol rahe hain ki event b jo hai wo independent hai of this event a because from this equation what hum log kya dekh rahe hain ki jo under this condition a what's the probability of this b aur ye jo probability hai same as द अर्लियर प्रोबिलिटी सो हम लोग यहाँ से क्या बोल सकते हैं कि इवेंट बी जो है वो इंडिपेंडेंट है ऑफ दिस इवेंट ए सो दैट इज द ओनली थिंग दैट वी कैन से बाई लुकिंग एट दिस इक्वेशन बट इफ यू लुक एट दिस फॉर्मल डेफिनेशन सो इट इज साइमेट्रिक विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द रोल ऑफ ए बी सो इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सेंग जस्ट सेंग दैट इवेंट बी इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ए we can say that a and b both events are independent to each other that means ki ye ye bhi imply kar raha hai ki probability of a given b is equals to probability of this event a right because a and b both are independent to each other and uh, if you look at this definition from here probability of b is equals to probability of this b intersection a divided by probability of this event a so agar is definition ko defined hona hai that means ki ye jo hai probability of a should be greater than 0 hona chahiye but yahan pe waisa case nahi hai right even if we have the probability of a is equals to 0 then we can apply this uh, formal definition right so overall point is that this formal definition is more general than this intuitive definition and uh, we do use this formal definition rather than this original definition if we have the independence of two event let's suppose uh, you have this sample space and we have two events event a and b and these two events are such that they are disjoint to each other that means ki there is no common part between a and b there is no intersection between a and b that is a intersection b is equals to 0 so event a and b is disjoint
एंड वी हैव गिवन दिस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दिस इवेंट ए इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दिस इवेंट बी इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो बोथ हैव द पॉजिटिव प्रोबेबिलिटी दिस इवेंट ए एंड बी सो इफ आई आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन दैट आर दिस आर दिस टू इवेंट ए एंड बी इंडिपेंडेंट so if you look here the happening of this event a and b what will the probability what is the probability of this happening of this event a and b that is zero right because we do not have any common part between this event a and b and event a and b both are disjoint event right if you look at the individual probability that is the probability of this event a that is positive right that is greater than 0 times this event probability of this event b that is also greater than 0 so overall the multiplication of individual probability will be greater than 0 right and if we look at the definition formal definition of this independence in uh, independence of two event so from here we can say that probability of a intersection b or uh, probability of this event a and b is not equal to the probability of this event a times probability of this event b right so these two events are not independent right because this is zero right and this whole thing is this multiplication is greater than zero so these two things are not the same so these are not equal so so these two event a and b are not independent they are dependent so we have seen from the uh, definition of this independence of two event even we can look at this venn diagram and intuitively we can say that these two events are dependent that means these they are not independent so if we know that this event a has occurred right then you are sure about that b will not occur right because this these two events are uh, disjoint right and if you are sure that if this event a has occurred right then this tells you that b will not occur so event occurrence of this event a tells a lot about the happening or not happening of this event b that is why these two events are not independent so even these two events are disjoint they are dependent event right so independent is relation about the information right two events are independent if the occurrence of one event does not change our belief about the other